Winstrol, Stato's a law. Hopefully I said that correctly. Um, Winstrol, remember back in the 90s, used to be super popular with uh, spreaders for supposedly increases speed. I've never put that to test, but um, a lot of the sprinters that were getting busted back in the day were taking Winstrol. Uh, but today we're going to dig into it for bodybuilding purposes. It, it's more of a contest prep uh drug um but we'll, we'll get into details and we'll talk a little bit more about winstraw so properties of winstraw uh just full disclaimer um you know everything i'm re referencing here is oral winstraw i don't know really anybody that uses injectable winstraw there may be um it is a structurally altered form of DHT, dihydrotestosterone. Uh, most of the contest prep drugs come from that DHT column since they tend to be dry, um, anadrol being the exception. Um, an introduction of an attached pyrazole group at the A ring of the hormone replacing the three keto group is a key modification that makes it a strong anabolic while re reducing androgenic effects. Uh, and it also has a modification of the 17th carbon position by adding a methyl group. We know what that means. It's a 17AA steroid, making it available and usable orally, which also makes it liver toxic. Um, it has a lower androgenic and higher anabolic rating than tests, like most other DHT derivatives. Has an androgenic rating of 30 and an anabolic rating of 320. Um, no measurable estrogenic or progestinic effects from, from Winstraw. Um, it promotes lean tissue gain. Um, also, for the most part, mild androgenic effects, but uh, although it does seem to have a strong impact on hair loss. Um, it was released to the market in 1962 to uh, uh, prevent muscle wasting in the um, use of where people were using uh, corticosteroids. Um, uh, there are, but you know, this is another thing. People think that somehow the the injectable is different. It is also C. It's also a C17AA steroid, which makes it also liver toxic by injecting. It's also water-based, and if you've ever done a water-based shot, they hurt like fuck. Um, okay, uh, effects of Winstrol. Increased protein synthesis like other steroids. Increased nitrogen retention. This makes it very good for contest prep. Decreased sex hormone binding globulin. Up to a 50% reduction has been noted in test subjects. Uh, moderate increase in red blood cell count. Uh, um, I never have noticed any re re increase when taking it, but some people may. Uh, moderate inhibition of glucocorticoids, stress hormones su such as cortisol. Um, a strong anabolic action as well. Um, side effects of Winstrol. It can elevate RBC and hematocrit, as we talked about. I never noticed any. Um, it's not as strong as other steroids, um, but affects different people differently. Um, as I've mentioned in other videos, most of the time when I see people that have hematocrit issues, it's not that they're having hematocrit issues so, so much as they're dehydrated. If you drink plenty of water, a lot of times you will not have those hematocrit issues. Um, no estrogenic side effects. It does not convert to estrogen directly or indirectly. Um, there is a slight risk of androgenic side effects. While low androgenic rating it still causes issues and there I, from I couldn't find any information on why I don't know that they they know directly it, it's as I mentioned it's known for causing hair loss in men um, 5 AR inhibitors so if you want to take Propecia or something like that to prevent it uh, or Finasteride uh, it doesn't work since it doesn't directly convert to DHT uh, the 5 alpha reductase inhibitors don't work on it since there is nothing to inhibit. Um, skewed lipids, uh, 
Winstrol will absolutely crush your lipids. Absolutely crush it. Um, <laughs> this is insane. A study showed that a six milligram dose, six milligram, who the fuck takes six milligrams? Nobody. Everybody builder I know is taking 50 for a contest prep. A six milligram dose for six weeks in, in test subjects caused a 33% decrease in LDL, a tw- or an HDL, sorry, and a 30 or 29% increase in LDL. That is fucking bananas. That is insane. Uh, you know, so God only knows what a 50 milligram dose does. Um, it does have some mild suppressing, suppression of natural testosterone. Um, it is known for causing joint pain, likely from, you know, being low in estrogen or it doesn't convert to estrogen. I don't know. But if there is something unique about it that causes joint pain, I don't know the uh, physiological reasons for it. Uh, I need to do some research into that. Uh, suppression of natural testosterone. We already talked about that. Um, uh, it is C17 alpha alkylated um, and can be liver toxic at higher doses. Um, it tends to be less liver toxic than, say, Anadrol and some other stuff. Uh, but you got to be careful stacking it with other orals. I would not do it unless you're in contest prep. Um, and absolutely do not drink alcohol or take Tylenol in excess while you're doing it. Probably not at all would be smart. Uh, application for Winstraw. I really, in bodybuilding, I think it only has one purpose, and that's for the last few weeks before a contest to harden you up. I really don't see it being productive elsewhere. Um, you know, the increased nitrogen retention, no estrogenic sides, no progestinic sides, suppresses SHBB, SHBG, and, uh, you know, promotes muscle retention and a caloric deficit. It was used for wasting. Um, you are in a wasting state when you're dieting for a show. So, um, you know, it is helpful helpful there. And also the suppression of cortisol, which your cortisol you're going to be in a state of being stressed out training for a show. So cortisol suppression is important. Um, Winstrol's half-life is eight hours. It's a very short half-life. Um, so if you want to keep peak concentrations in your blood, probably twice a day dose uh, would be minimum, would be necessary. Um, cycles and doses, male doses, a beginner dose is 25 milligrams per day. Intermediate dose is 50 milligrams per day. Most, you know, everybody's preparing for an amateur bodybuilding show that I've seen is taking 25 milligrams or 50 milligrams, sorry. Uh, advanced dose, 50 plus. I don't know if I would go much higher than 50. I don't think it's necessary, even at the pro levels. Females, I don't know a lot about females using um, Winstraw. I know they do. I would only use it a few weeks before shows. A beginner dose, from what I have heard, you know, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong about this, but the, like I said, I'm not the expert on you know female doses, but what I've heard is 5 to 10 milligrams per day. Intermediate dose is 10 to 25. An advanced dose would be 25 plus. I can't imagine a woman needing 25 plus, but who knows? Uh, maximum, I would run the stuff four to six weeks. I just don't think you need more. Your joints feel like hell when you're on it too. Um, it, I just it really just dries your joints out badly. I just feel creaky. Everything hurts. Um, it's one thing I've noticed. My experience, um, I've never had a really liver issues until I stacked Winstraw with, with Anivar and then my liver enzymes shot through the fucking roof. Uh, they, were, they, were, <laughs> they were out of control. So I've taken both independently. No issues when I took them together. Everything was fucked up. Um, I didn't notice any androgenic side effects. Of course, I'm already bald. So... Thanks, you know, thanks, Jeans and Trend for that one. Um, it definitely hardens me up. I mean, within a few days of taking it, I start having veins popping out everywhere. And it seems, it's probably in my head, but I, I feel like it thins my skin out too. Um, you know, that's, that's probably psychological more than anything. But it definitely hardens me up and gives me a different look. My joints hurt like fuck when I take Winstraw. Usually about a week or so into it, I get really bad. 
joint pain. Crushed my appetite as well. That's probably due to the liver enzymes being elevated, but all orals seem to fuck my appetite up. I don't see any benefit for it in a hypertrophy phase. Anything that fucks your stomach up and makes you feel sick, makes your joints creaky, creaky, can't be good for hypertrophy when you're trying to put size on, get stronger, get bigger. I just don't see it being productive. There are better choices. Um, I would only use it for fat loss and composition and in short doses. Um, I, you know, moving forward, I think three to four weeks is all you need for the pre-contest. The last couple weeks going into a show, I just don't think anything more than, than that is necessary. I may even experiment with lower doses, like 25 milligrams. See if we can get away with that. Um, I definitely be conservative when using it with other orals. It seems to have a compounding effect with the liver enzymes when you use it with other orals. I've never had an issue, like I said, using both Anavar and Winstrol independently, but when I put them together, it blew my fucking liver enzymes up. Um, you know, I just, you know, like I said, I just don't think it's an ideal environment for growth. Um, if you're trying to use it for, you know, being sick, creaky, no appetite is not a good environment for growth. So I just would not use this in a hypertrophy phase. It's just not worth it. Um, thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe my channel. Uh, that'll help me get this thing up and going. I'm trying to help people get better information, make better choices, uh, you know, help with harm reduction. I, people that have made up their mind to do this stuff are going to do it regardless. And hopefully I can help you prevent a little bit of damage and stay healthier as you do it. Um, if there are any other videos you would like me to make, please let me know. I'm happy to record anything you want. And follow me on Instagram at Paul K. Barnett. Thank you very much.